it's been sitting for a while, but yeah. it had all the parts. I just it's, felt bliss. It was just like really cool to feel like. The fruit of your labor? Yeah. Jump cut to. The last registration that we had seen on it, like 2000? This is, yeah, 2000, last yeah. registration. So, so, so sitting like, for 22 years? Yeah. So why did you want a bike in the first place? I had always been fascinated by them. My dad had a one of the Ninja Sport bikes when I was like 11 to 13 and used to like um, take me to soccer practice on it. Oh like, yeah? Every week, yeah. Did you ride on the tank or did you ride behind him? Behind him, oh. yeah. And that was really fun. Okay, so you went and got this out of a swap meet in Lawrence. Yeah, swap meet in Lawrence. And what did you pay um, for it? It was 800. 800, which is a really good deal for a 1974 CB360T. Yeah. No, it's How okay. did you find out about the shop for the first time? So I found out about Hickory for the first time when I was looking at Blip. Uh, I was thinking about getting a bike and I was asking, before I was gonna make the jump of getting a bike, I was asking around to see if anybody knew of who could help me um, rebuild the bike, because I knew I was gonna get one that was like, kind of fucked up because I didn't have the money to shell out for like a operating bike. So I was like, okay, I need, I'm gonna need some help. And they told me about how Hickory was a community garage and I was like, okay, holy shit. Like this might actually be really approachable for me because I don't know anything and I want to know something. And yeah, I don't have anyone around me that's like well versed in it. So it was like great to like know that there was a community garage like this here. What all did it need? Walk us through what the repairs were. The car rebuild was like the big one. Um, it was kind of intimidating, uh, mm -hmm. but. Just tons, tons of little fiddly parts. Yes, but you guys guided me through that. Um, so we did that and then we redid the brakes. Um, mm -hmm. We did the oil change and then um, there was the throttle. And there was a bunch of electrical work. Oh, we um, you didn't have controls. These are new. Yeah, so the controls are new. So that's why we had the headlight new. off because we had to wire all that through. Yeah, so we uh, rewired a bunch of stuff. Oh, I had to clean out the entire gas tank. Oh, that was crazy. That took tank. forever. So that was yeah, very rusty. The, the gas tank. Uh, it, uh, well, so I have a really amazing trick for cleaning out gas tank, and it's. So it's the cheapest way to fill up a you know three gallon tank up to the brim and just let it soak and eat it away. Um, and this had it wasn't so much rust, but like gas that had long since turned to plastic. Yes, it was very so old gas. Gross. Very and, bad. Yeah. Took a couple of rinses. It, but more than a few. And more like than a few, and then the and then the power wash. That's what took off the last acid. layer. Yeah. I think it took like a month to get all of that out. Yeah, I let it sit in there slowly. for a while. Yeah. Yeah, so. and but it's good that we saw we're able to save it because this color is so rad. Like yeah. you can't paint this color anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the tank and then the new petcock. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and now it just starts right smaller up. Smaller handlebars. Oh, uh, we also rebuilt your forks. And then and then yeah, and then we rebuilt my forks. Mm -hmm. so I think that's about and, all we did. Yeah. So you did all of that, and you didn't know how to ride a motorcycle yet. Mm, yes, that is true. Yeah. So I'd never ridden a motorcycle besides, I'd never ridden a motorcycle besides riding in the backseat with my dad and I feel like that's definitely what gave me the courage to just jump into it because I was like, I remembered absolutely loving that. I think that made a big enough impression on me that like, I wasn't too afraid to just like, not know how to ride one and just like, try to build it, so. But, yeah. you did just ride it today for the first and time. And I did so just ride it that? today. That was amazing. Uh, oh, I didn't really want to stop, but <laughs> the bike got a she, hot. yeah, she was getting hot because I was just spitting and like going around really slow. So yeah, it got a little hot, so I had to take a break, but it was amazing and yeah, I can't really explain it. Um, I was just, I don't know how to explain it. I, mean, I just felt bliss. It was just like really cool to feel like. The fruit of your labor? Yeah, it felt like, it, it did feel, it felt surreal. I was like, like I know I'm only going like two miles an hour and like that's not anything impressive, but it was like crazy because I was like looking down at the bike and it was like, oh my God, like this is a bike that me and Brett built together. Like it was just, yeah. So I kept having that moment while I was just doing little, little circle eights in that lot was like, holy shit. Like, like we did this, it was just really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you want to do to it next? Modernize it a little bit and maybe keep do the an LED. Seat or yeah. do like something smaller and I, I wanted to keep a long seat, okay. to be honest. Because 
yeah. passengers? Yeah. Eventually? Yeah. Okay. And why don't you start your bike for the first time? Okay. Uh, camera? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Redo the brakes, yeah. uh, different handlebars, mm -hmm. different throttle and grips, and new airbox, mm -hmm. carb rebuild, yeah. oil change, uh, clutch work. Yeah. And that's been it so far. That's been it.